Good evening and hello. Welcome to the channel, the Rideshare Entertainer. To all my current rideshare passengers and drivers out there, um, it's getting pretty nippy in these side of the woods. I'm in uh, Rhode Island and all that, Foster, Mass. You know, I got all these states, Connecticut, Eastern Connecticut. Um, obviously, I cover all of this. Um, this is my stomping grounds. This, this is my area. Um, basically, yeah, like I said, I cover all of these. And I want to get into this dash cam that I bought. Um, I've been playing with it all week like a kid. <laughs> and it's getting better and better. Every day I learn something new about it. It's imported from China. It's the 360 panoramic dash cam meaning it records all around you i don't play if i'm gonna do the dash cam i'm gonna do it right so i got the imported from china what is the yokoli y9 anyway for some reason this brand doesn't say it um it just says uh, 360 infrared night vision recorder 360 panoramic view that's all it says so the name i guess was ex excluded from uh this particular model, I don't know why, as you can see. Um, yeah, I had it installed. It's in the car now. And this is the extra accessories that it did come with, in case you're wondering. Um, you know, some wires I didn't have to actually use. Okay, um, which is great. And um, it charges on its own all night. You can just leave it on charging. It charges while it drives. Okay, this is the items that it came with. This extra wire here, which I don't need. Extra wiring. I guess if you have a larger vehicle, I'm, I'm suppose, or a truck or something. And, uh, yeah, and then there's also a charger, a carport charger to go with it. Um... Yeah, that's basically it. I, I think it's pretty good. Um, the night infrared, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm in the in the deep neck of the woods. So it's not as bright. It's not as bright at all as I thought. I even asked a fellow YouTuber, Chris from Buffalo, um, is it bright enough? Even though it says, you know, infrared. Infrared night vision. He said no, especially if you're in the woods, you're not in the city like where there's bright lights all over. It's not going to work that way. Um, unless you have your Uber LED decal light on or your blue light, whatever. My, you know, some, some kind of visual, especially when you zoom in for any actual footage that you may need in case of a false report, stuff like that, you know, which is big. And now I'm understanding that. Um, you know, Uber is going to fix all this as far as in um, recording conversations. Um, we're going to have to find out with states if that's okay because, you know, Uber does things without authorization in some states, I guess. They just come taking over the states like the mob. So, you know, they I guess the take the, you know, the states want their money. See how Jersey's going? Jersey's going hard. There's money in Jersey, I'm sure. I'm, Jersey's a gold mine. But for them to do it that way, um, $650 million. Are you kidding me? That's insane. That's, that's wow. They're going to back up Uber, and then we're all going to be out the job because of one state. You know, it could, it could play out like that. We never know. We never know what could, how could this happen, how could it play out. We don't know none of these things. We just got to be very aware. But now that I'm basically covered from false reports, which you already know I myself had one. So you know I'm a real driver now. I had to go through the trials and tribulations of being an Uber driver. And um, yeah, it landed me on a two-week suspension in July. I should have just went to like DR or something if there wasn't those deaths going on. Basically with tourists drinking nips. And, you know, just getting deceased completely after that. It's just scary, especially in my homeland. But I'm also half Spaniard, and I do want to go to Spain. So um, I could have went there for my two weeks, put it that way. But here I was, clueless if I had a job or not. I stood home for two weeks, basically calling customer service. <laughs> 
Worst summer vacation ever. Thanks, Uber. You you guys owe me a nice big summer, by the way. You guys owe me a nice big summer vacation, like whatever comes with this package pro plan that you guys are claiming that we have. I want this vacation. When is it going to be given away by any, way, by any chance? I haven't had uh, seen any current updates on this, on this particular so quote unquote vacation that Uber is going to randomly select partners, supposedly. Um, anyway, guys, okay, I'm glad Uber's making these changes. You just got to find out in your state if it's okay to record these conversations. I still got to find out in Mass, Rhode Island, and Connecticut to see if I'm allowed to use my dash cam, which, of course, I'm pretty sure I can um, it's working beautifully. I thought I had to connect it to uh, the internet in my house somehow, connecting to my car. But no, the, in the car, the dash cam has its own Wi-Fi. That's the beauty of it. It has its own Wi-Fi. So if you connect this certain app that connects to your um, dash cam, it basically records all night. At one point, I thought it wasn't going to record because... I had to disconnect from the Wi-Fi, the dash cam Wi-Fi, in order to use my Uber app and my DoorDash, etc., in order to get work. Because it wasn't working. My apps weren't working as my dash cam was connected to its own Wi-Fi connection. You have to forget about that Wi-Fi connection, the dash cam wrap of Wi-Fi connection. You have to completely forget about it for your phone to work again on regular mobile data. On regular mobile Wi-Fi, open Wi-Fi or not. That's the only way. It depends. I got Sprint, so I don't know if whatever you guys got. I might have to upgrade my phone. I, I currently have a V30, LG V30. I am jumping on the LG um, V50 uh, for the holidays. That's going to be a present. Um, supposedly, they're newer and they pick up calls during uh, during your Wi-Fi. Something crazy. Um, Sprint's the only one that I'm technically experiencing this issue with. But anyway, supposedly, you know, they're going to upgrade or whatnot, whatever. But the only way the dash cam would work, I thought, on my end, was to connect to the Wi-Fi. So I figured, damn, I'm screwed. Now I got to get this V50. It didn't work out that way. Apparently, the car was recording after I long forgot about the Wi-Fi password. It was still recording. And I had all these files. I bought a 18, 16 gigabyte SIM card. And all these files are just popping up. Even when I'm home sleeping, it's recording. That's what I wanted. So, it, you know, me studying it and playing with it, it just took me a week. That's all. But I love it. I I never seen anything like this. This is crazy. Uh, but for a great price on eBay, ladies and gentlemen, please look it up. 360 infrared night vision and recorder. Okay, 360 panoramic view. Okay, the name is supposedly Yakoli, some some shit like that. But look it up. Look it up. You're gonna see it. You're gonna see it. And I think it's the best best dash cam I ever bought. Super cheap. Um yeah, so way under a buck. I get deals. <laughs> They don't call me the deal bargain guy for nothing, okay? Now, for Black Friday, I'm going in on <laughs> these deals. Um, as far as in my 4K, as you can see, I got to finish stacking that up. But I only do classics, okay? I only do classics. Anyway, this dash cam, no complaints. Um, nothing at all. Uh, and thank you for stopping by. I suggest you pick yourself one up. Just if you're gonna install it yourself, that's great. If you're gonna get somebody to do it, try to have them not be so hard on you. <laughs> it depends how your vehicle is anyway. But if you have a small compact car like mine, it shouldn't be no more than a buck fifty. So, you know, look into that. You you're not gonna regret it. You're not gonna regret it. Along with this new thing from Uber, you're covered. All right, no more false reports. All those days are over. It's it's dead. It, riders are gonna know very. They're gonna be very aware of it. They're gonna think before their actions. 
I'm glad they're taking this action because now they're going to think some of them might play it stupid and they don't know, which is good. That way we'll catch them out there and we'll keep persistently keep catching these uh, writers, these false writers with false reports and, and evil intentions on partners, uh, which has to stop. Same thing with drivers against passengers, you know, reckless drivers, um, you know, basically these different drivers as far as in sexual pedophiles and stuff like that um sexual predators um kidnappers all that crazy shit it's out the door but thank you for stopping by let's make this work